Sasha is gladly taking up a test drive offer at this dealership. The new Renault Captur is even more compact than a VW Golf. He wonders whether if the little car can meet Renault's expectation that it will get sales figures back on track. The new model measures 4.12 meters in length, bridging the gap between the new Clio and the Clio Grand Tour. Renault's aim here, says Sasha, is to score with the low entry-level price, meaning there's no four-wheel drive option. Perhaps there's no space to accommodate it with the Clio platform, on which the Captur is based. At the moment, the newly launched Renault Captur is available with only three different engines, so not yet the wide range seen with the Clio. Even if the Cup Tour does share the cutting-edge platform with the Clio, its ground clearance is 17 centimeters higher. That makes the model well-equipped for excursions taking in farm lanes and dirt roads. And it's precisely this robust character that the exterior design emphasizes. Sasha recognizes the familiar cabin, largely the same as in the Renault Clio. That means hard plastic, and above all, a couple of sharp edges on the steering wheel that have not been improved. He reckons you'll touch these edges too often, which he personally would find very annoying. But Renault has come up with a new idea for the club compartment. It's a drawer rather than a door that opens downwards. That means the front passenger needs to be careful not to get their legs in the way. One nice side effect is that the drawer has an 11 liter capacity. Nice for keeping your drinks cool. Rear passengers can look forward to the windows opening all the way down, although they'll need that fresh air, says Sasha, because the Captur's suspension is a bit too soft. The back seat can be shifted 16 centimeters in the long version, meaning that legroom should never be a problem. If you don't need that extra space for passengers, the trunk capacity can be extended from 377 to 455 liters. With the rear seats folded down, the cargo area can be increased to 1,235 liters. The variable trunk floor means you have a close to flat cargo surface. So the Captur does impress with its variability and practical attributes. Unfortunately, says Sasha, the A-pillar has gotten a little too big. Around bends, you have to tilt your head pretty radically to be able to see properly. We tested the 90 DCI diesel version. Its 66 kilowatts of output give it a peak speed of 171 kilometers per hour. Renault says it's economical, needing just 4.2 liters of diesel for 100 kilometers. And the verdict? The Captur is a very useful mini SUV, but Sasha advises against the smallest gasoline engine because it makes you feel underpowered. There are two other engines available, however, so there should be something to cover everyone's tastes.